Good morning, anybody. Happy Friday. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Joyce. How's it going? Yes, how are you both? Anything exciting going on this morning so far in your lives? I've already been up and out of the house for an outdoor workout. Which was exciting to get out and do something outside with other people. With the social distancing in place. Now I'm ready to stretch. Good morning, Pam. So I don't know if, Mom, if you have, um, let's see, you're good, nothing exciting. Good morning, Jane. Um, so I don't know if everybody has a ball or if you're sitting on a chair. I don't know if my mom has um, blown up her ball. Oh, and Jim, good morning, Jim. Glad you're feeling better. So it's 9.31, so let's get started. Um, wanna make sure we start close to on time. I just like everybody to pop on if they're gonna get here, give everybody enough time to get on, type me a little message saying good morning or hello or whatever you'd like to say. Um, so I don't have anything really exciting except for the fact that I got out and did something already this morning. I'm going to try to ride my bike after this. Um, and I got a little nine holes of golf later this afternoon. And um, yeah, it's a, kind of a busy day. Um, and then I got to think about what I'm having for dinner. So, oh my gosh, the day's almost over. Huh. All right, so let's just start seated on your chair or on your ball. Um, any, uh, seated positions fine, even on the floor, if that's what you're going to do today, you don't even need the chair or the ball. So, um, let me see what that says. Um, good morning, Elaine. So let's just put your feet flat on the floor. If you're seated, um, on the ball or the chair. Palms up or down, whatever feels comfortable. I'm gonna put my palms down, just cause that seems easier when I'm seated on the ball. Eyes shut. So we'll go just about an hour, maybe a little bit less. Shoulders relaxed. Eyes shut. And as always, we just spend the first couple moments just breathing. Trying to relax yourself, your mind, your body, your spirit. Trying to let go of all those outside thoughts and distractions for the next hour or so. Turning your phone off, closing the door, literally and figuratively. And just try to fill up your whole body with your inhale. And let go of all of your breath on your exhale. Let your shoulders relax. You're seated on the ball, let your feet be a comfortable distance apart so that you're not worried about falling over or balancing quite yet.
can take your feet a little bit wider than your hips. And then if you're on the chair, you're not gonna be able to make a full circle, but what I'd like you to do is just lean forward and then just kind of go to the side, lean back as far as you can, and then over to one side and forward. So keep your eyes shut if you can, and just start making a little circle around your hips. So you can hold on to your thighs if you're on the ball. If you're using a chair with a back on it, you're just gonna have to come probably straight over when you get to the back. If you actually wanna just put your hands at your heart and work on a little bit more of a balance, you can do that. One more time around in this direction. And then let's go the opposite direction. So maybe inhale halfway around the circle and exhale around the other way or exhale around the other half of the circle. Just noticing where you feel this in your hips, in your low back, in your mid back. Try to keep your shoulders down away from your ears. One more time around. And then when you get back to center, hands at your heart, let's bring your feet a little bit closer together. As close as you can. Feeling a little bit uncomfortable maybe and just tip your head over to one side come back through to center and over to the opposite side so hands can be at center or on your thighs or just hanging down holding on to the side of your ball or your chair Inhaling all the way over, exhaling all the way over, or inhaling to center and exhaling to each side. You decide how fast you're moving your head and how deep your breaths are. I am a firm believer that we all have our own breathing patterns. And when your head gets over to the right side, let's just leave it there. Relaxing both shoulders down. Let's take that left arm back behind you, bending your elbow, pushing your forearm into your low back, making yourself sit up even taller, bringing your shoulder blades together. And then both hands on your thighs, chin to your chest, and then roll your head over to the left, and then back over to the right. Pushing those feet down into the floor, and thinking about that nice long spine. Leaving your head over to the left this time Again, relaxing the shoulders, pulling your shoulder blades together, taking your right arm, bending it back behind your back, sitting up even taller, pushing that belly button forward, dropping that head to the left. Breathe. Both hands on your thighs, chin to your chest. Just make that little U shape with your head. Just dropping your chin to your chest, 
ear to your shoulder. And then chin to your chest, hands interlace behind you. Push your palms down behind you. Pull your shoulder blades together. Sit up nice and tall, push down into your hips, up through the back side of your neck, dropping your chin. Then when you're ready to take an inhale breath, you're gonna unlace your hands, bring them up over your head touching your palms at the top and then turning your palms away and exhaling your hands down at your side. Let's do that again. Inhale up and exhale away. Again, inhale and exhale. One more time, leaving your arms up and just exhaling your right arm down. And let's lean over to the right. And then just reverse that, coming over to the left. And then to the right. So just a little windmill, trying to get that side body stretch. So on the chair, the chair obviously isn't moving. So you're pushing down into your hips. If you're seated on the ball, the ball can start moving right and left as you push it away with your hips, getting a little deeper stretch. All right, one more time on each side. And then when you come back to center, Bring your right arm up, your left arm up, and then let's add a rotation to either side. Inhale back to center, looking up. Exhale as you twist to the other side. Inhale back up and exhale other side. And just repeat on your own breath. Trying to make that twist just a little bit bigger for the last couple, looking all the way back behind you. One more time on each side. And coming back to center, bringing your arms down on an exhale. Let's bring your feet wide. So pretty wide, but a bend in your knees. Let's take your hands on your thighs and bring your right shoulder forward and your left shoulder back. And then switch, bring your left shoulder forward, your right shoulder back, and then just switch. So just trying to do a little twist at your upper back, dropping the shoulder down, you can look I don't know, maybe a foot in front of your toes if your feet were in front of you, but your feet are out to the side. And maybe start moving just a little faster, faster than you want to be breathing in yoga, just to get a little heat moving through your body. One more time on each side. Then let's bring those feet and your, your feet together, your upper body back up, and a little cat and cow. So you can keep your hands on your thighs, or you can start to open up your arms. Again, if you're on your chair, your hips are rooted into the chair. If you're on the ball, the ball can rock forward and back giving you a little deeper range of motion. Inhaling as you open, exhaling as you come forward. A couple more times. All right, arm 
palms in front, palms reaching out and away. You're looking down. Just reach, reach, reach. And then on an inhale breath, raise your arms up and making yourself nice and tall. And then just come on to the edge of your chair, the edge of your bench. Flex your feet and sit in a modified staff pose. So bring your palms apart, flex your feet, tip forward a little bit. So see if you can get this 90 degree angle so that when you look forward, you're looking a little bit in front of your toes. You feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings. And then just sit back up tall on an inhale. Exhale as you just fold forward a little bit more. Inhale all the way back up. And exhale all the way back down again. Well, not all the way back down, just till you feel a little stretch in those hamstrings. Back up. Exhale as you fold forward again. Inhale back up. One more time. And all the way back up. So let's leave your right leg just where it is. You're going to bend your left knee out to the side. So it's a little bit of a balance if you're on that ball. Maybe a balance if you're on the chair. You're going to spring your arms up again. This time we're going to try to fold forward over that right leg. So maybe your hands are going to be on the floor. Maybe they're just going to be on that leg. And you're going to keep your chin up a little bit. Maybe looking at your lower leg. So think about extending out through the crown of your head, folding at your hip, not at your waist. So lengthen your spine, pull those toes up so you're getting that nice calf stretch and just let your breath and gravity take that upper body lower. Then on an inhale breath, see if you can just rise up nice and slow, leaving your lower body right where it is. And then on an exhale, don't fall over. You're going to come back down. I like to have my desk right here. Come back down, but this time a little bit of a twist to your right so that both hands are on the outside of your right leg. So see now how that changes the stretch into that quadratus lumborum area, that muscle mid lower back. And if you're not able to fold forward where your hands reach the floor, you could put something underneath your hands or you can bend your right leg and see if that helps you fold forward a little bit more, especially if you're feeling pain in your low back. A bent right leg is where you want to be. See if you can come down just a little bit further, a little twist at your waist, hamstring mid back on the left, hamstring on that right leg. Breathe. One more breath, slowly come back up, slowly, and put both feet flat on the floor, and just do a big inhale up, and an exhale down. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. All right, the left leg extends out. Flex that foot, bend your right knee, and see about just letting it kind of hang out. So we do this seated on the ground. So get your balance. 
and then bring your arms up, inhaling. And when you exhale, you just fold forward. So maybe you're here, maybe your hand just right on your thigh. Maybe this knee is bent. Maybe you can walk your hands forward. Maybe you have some books or a block. You can set your hands down, but right now your chest is directly over your left leg. Folding at your hip, letting that right knee fall out. Hamstring calf, pull those left toes up. Then you just start to nod your chin a little bit. So don't tuck your chin all the way. Just look at your lower left leg. Let breath and gravity do all the work. Breathe. Lengthen on the inhale, fold on the exhale. All right, on your next inhale breath, you're going to slowly start to rise up, taking or making any adjustments or modifications you need. See if you can raise your arms up. And when you're ready to take your exhale breath, you're going to twist a little bit to the left and come down on that diagonal. You can make little squeaks if you need to. So your hands, both your hands are on the outside of your left leg. Breathing, still pulling those toes up, calf, hamstring, but now feeling that right mid-back muscle, quadratus lumborum, responsible for our twists. Lengthen, inhale, exhale, fold. Use your breath, clear your mind, you're just doing your best and you're happy with whatever that is. slowly start to come up so you can walk up your leg or you can just use your core strength to bring you all the way back up and exhale your hands right at your side let's bring your feet flat on the floor any distance apart you want and a couple of big breaths inhale and exhale one more inhale and exhale all right, so if you're on the chair and you have a back, I'd like you to sit on the, um, so turn yourself so that you'd be on the side of your chair. And I want you to put your hands here and I just want you to open up here. So you can do this on the ball, just like this. I just want to do a little counter pose to the um, forward fold. So you can be right here on the chair if you're on the ball, what I'd like you to do is walk yourself forward like this and see if you can just drape yourself over the ball. Just letting your arms go out to the side, letting your chest open, letting that ball rest right about at your waist so that you feel supported right below your waist, right above your waist. Everybody's chests are open, hips are open. You can straighten your legs even more. Just feeling that reverse from the forward fold. Now we're doing a slight back bend. 
or even more of a back bend if you're on that ball. And then slowly just rise back up, seated, facing forward again. And then let's do some more balance work. So let's take your right leg and cross it over your left. So you can cross here, holding on. This is um, a balance for sure. Or you can cross that right leg all the way over, maybe in a tighter cross. This is fine. If you can, a little bit wider cross and sit up nice and tall. So now you're gonna start to feel in your outer thigh on that right side. So holding on makes it a little easier. Obviously, once you let go, hands out to the side is an option. Hands at your heart is an option. Arms up overhead is an option. You decide where you want to be. And you can switch your arms whenever you need to. After one more breath, if you want, you're just going to start to come forward again. So you're going to deepen that stretch on your right hip and glute area. So for me, that means I'm going to hang on to the ball and my leg to keep myself balanced. Push down into your foot on the left and extend out through your spine and breathe. You're going to sit up nice and tall. If you um, have a wide cross, you're going to tighten up that cross. If you're already in the tight cross, you're going to stay there. You're going to sit up tall. Don't fall over. You're going to twist yourself to the right. So your right leg is crossed as tight as you can, sitting up tall, twisting yourself to the right. So I have heard from some people who have furniture close to their balls when they're doing this on the ball. And if you fall, you can actually injure yourself if you fall over onto your desk or a chair. So please be very careful and don't feel bad about grabbing onto something if you need it. If you start to fall, grab out with your hand, not with your head. Just a little point for you. All right, put your right foot down, come back to center. Let's cross that left leg over, like right now. If I need help getting that leg over, I'm gonna hold on. All right, and if you're on the chair, find where you wanna be. You're getting a great stretch right there. The only thing you're missing by not doing it on the ball is the core work. You're still getting the great stretch by being on the chair. So no worries. All right, arms and hands wherever you want them to be. Center, side, overhead. Noticing maybe that one side is easier than the other. Big deep breaths. And when you're ready, you just come forward. So again, hold on when you need to and feel that really nice stretch, outer thigh and glute on that left side. But lengthen your spine, so that same principle, inhale and lengthen, exhale and fold. Every time you take that cycle of breath, it's inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Breathe. One more breath. Let's cross that leg tighter if you're not already there. 
and then we're going to twist to your left. So again, nice and tall. And then just start making your way twisting to your left. So now it's an inhale and lengthen. And on your exhale, you twist. Find your focal point. Push down into the ground with that right foot. If you're on that chair, use the back of your chair to maybe get yourself to twist a little bit more. One more breath. Come back to center nice and slow. Put that left foot down. And then a couple big breaths. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. All right, we are going to stand up. So in front of the chair, if that's where you are at, and with the ball in your hand, if you're using the ball. So you're going to be right in front of your chair. And if you're using the ball, I'm going to make sure I don't hit the fan up there. So your feet are going to be uh, hip distance apart or maybe touching. You decide. I'm going to try touching. We're going to do chair pose. So if you're in the chair, in front of the chair, I want you to sink your booty down so that you're almost touching the chair. You can maybe feel it right on your booty. And with the ball, you're going to raise the ball up in the air, and then everybody's going to sink down. So everybody go down, holding that ball up, or just holding your arms up if you're just using the chair. So try to pull your inner thighs in so that your knees are tracking over your toes wherever they are. So if your feet are wider than uh, touching, your knees are just tracking over your toes. If your feet are touching, your inner thighs are squeezing together. Take one more breath and come all the way up to standing, reaching your arms up and then bringing your ball down or your hands on your chair, stepping back and reaching out in puppy dog pose. So bending at your hip, stretching those shoulders, We're going to do that chair pose one more time. So feet wherever you want them to be. Knees are going to track right over your toes. Arms are going to go up. Hips are going to go straight back and down. So make sure you can see your big toes when you look down and then your gaze is forward. Breathe. Two more breaths. Can you go a little lower? Stand all the way up, reach, and then find your puppy dog pose. So if you need to move around that chair, push the ball away or step your feet back, fold at your hip, tip your pelvis forward, push your hips up and back, and breathe. One more breath. And then slowly come back up. So we're going to put the chair or the ball right at your uh, left side. You're going to take your right foot in front your left foot right back and we're going to find lunge pose. So you're going to use the ball right now to just hold on to or the chair to just get your balance. You're going to bend your front knee over your ankle. Your back leg, back knee is going to drop down. So you feel this stretch in your hip flexors. 
You may stay right here with your right arm straight up and you're holding on to the chair or the ball. If you would like, you can let go of the ball or the chair and bring both arms up. If you're using the ball, you could put it straight up, getting some strength, holding up the ball. And we just sink down a little bit more, push your left hip forward. If you wanna raise that right heel off the ground, you can. Have a nice long spine wherever you're at. Your hips are right below your shoulders, your shoulders right above your hips. Take one more breath and slowly bring that back leg forward. We're gonna switch to the other side, so walk around. So now your right leg goes back. So just straight back, bend the left knee, sink down, push that right hip forward. Find your lunge, your back heel is off the mat, and you can see your big toes. Hips facing forward, hold on to the chair or the ball. Arms can be wherever you want, and the ball can be up overhead if you want. I'm gonna leave my ball down this time. And just breathe. You can look up, forward, slightly down if you want but lengthen the torso, really feel length around your rib cage, feel length right here in this hip flexor. Lift that heel up if you're not already in the front if you want. And then let's come out of that. Bring that back leg forward. Let's go into that puppy dog pose again. So hands on your chair or the ball. Push your hips back. Tip forward. Breathe. All right, so from where you're at now, I want you to just come down onto your knees and you're gonna rest your hands on that ball or the chair. So it's gonna be a bit of a balance. You wanna take your feet, your knees a little wide. And what I want you to do, I think, is we're gonna try this together. I'm not even sure if this is gonna work. So you might need to put your forearm on your chair or the ball. If the chair is probably stable enough to just put your hands, but you're gonna take your left arm and reach it underneath. So it's a thread the needle. Maybe once you put that hand down on the ground, it's gonna feel a little bit more stable. And then just look to your right and feel that nice stretch of your shoulder on that right arm and the shoulder on your left arm as you're trying to reach that left hand twist at the waist and then come back to center and we'll switch sides so left hand on your chair or your ball bring your right hand underneath your left armpit palm down just so you can walk your fingers Look through that space underneath your left arm and twist, pressing down into the ball or the chair with that left hand. Twist, reach, breathe. And then slowly come back to center. All right, we're gonna lay down on the floor um, to finish up with some 
stretches on the ground. Um, so if you don't like the floor, you can try to do these um, on the chair for sure. Um, it's just some hamstring stretches and some more glute stretches, um, some inner thigh stuff. So you can definitely do it on the chair if you don't wanna lay down with me. If you have a strap or towel, go ahead and bring that with you. So um, you're gonna sit on the ground with your chair or your ball um, so that you can rest your lower legs up on the chair uh, seat or your ball. Your arms are going to go out to the side and we're just going to hang here until everybody gets settled and you're going to make sure that you have your towel or your strap nearby even if you don't have it it's perfectly fine so we're going to kind of use the ball and the chair as your wall so um, if you'd rather go to the wall that's fine also so let's do your hamstrings again so your left leg is going to sit on the middle of the chair or the middle of the ball. Your right leg is going to go up with that strap around your foot or you're just going to hold on to your calf or your hamstrings. Remembering that we never pull right behind your knee joint. You push your heel up, you push your hip down on that right leg and you breathe. See if you can pull that leg a little closer to you. And then just holding on to your leg or the strap, you're gonna let your leg drop open to the right. So feeling that nice inner thigh stretch, keeping that left leg bent on your ball or your chair and breathing. Using that ball, try not to let it roll to the right. Try to keep it moving left a little bit. And then let's bring that right leg back to center and switch legs. So left leg goes up. Right leg is going to be in the middle of your chair or the ball. And let's stretch those hamstrings again on the left side. Big deep breaths, push that heel up, your hip down. Lengthen that whole back side of your left leg. deeper and then let's let that leg just drift open to the left and again try not to let your right leg drift too far 
past that midline. So try to drop your right leg a little bit out to the right as well. So you really get that nice opening at your groin muscles, your inner thigh. Exhale, let's bring that leg back through center. Put your strap or towel to the side. If you're using a chair, I want you to position the chair so that the back is um, in front of you, so that your feet are actually facing the back and that you have the two empty sides um, because what I'd like to do is put the bottoms of your feet together in cobbler's pose. So um, you might um, feel more comfortable resting your heels on top of that chair and if that chair just is too high or too low or too uncomfortable on your heels then please just move it away and bring your feet just down to the ground with your feet together and your knees apart. If you're using that ball your feet are just in the middle bringing the ball in and your knees are just falling out to the side but get the bottoms of your feet together arms wherever you want them to be and then if it feels like there's a lot of tension there because you're trying to get your feet together, let's just relax your feet. Try to bring the ball in a little closer. And just let everybody's knees fall out just a little bit further out. One more breath. Let's bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. Turn your feet around your ankle joints. Other direction. Then your arms are gonna go out to the side. You're gonna drop your knees to the right. Looking up or to the left and if you need something bigger then you're going to straighten your left leg and walk your right foot back so that you widen that um, space between your legs like you're making a big gigantic leap feeling that nice twist at your left side of your waist, maybe even putting your right hand on your left leg. Slowly come back to center. Give yourself that hug. And then you're going to drop those knees over to the left. Arms out to the side. And again, make any adjustments you need to. If you want to make it a little bit more uh, deeper, then you extend your right leg. You walk your left leg back, left foot back towards the middle of your body. You put your left hand on your right thigh 
and you turn and look to the right. And you take deep breaths. Come back to center. You're going to give yourself that hug again. Let's flex your feet and point your toes. Flex your feet again. Point. One more time, really flex and then really point. And then you're going to find your savasana pose, your final relaxation, whatever that is for you. You can have your feet on the ball, on the chair up the wall or just laying on the floor. So if it feels like too much energy to hold this ball, you might be able to find a nice, comfortable weighted position with your legs where it doesn't feel like you're expending any energy. But if you do, then find the wall, find your mat, find your backside and just hang out. For just about three minutes or so, three or four minutes, as quiet and as still as you possibly can be, with your eyes shut, maybe a towel over your eyes, letting your whole body relax. exhaling through your nose. As quiet and as still as you can be.
right, let's start to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Just slowly, gently waking yourself back up. You can give yourself a big full body stretch. You can pull both knees into your chest and give yourself a big hug. You can rock side to side. You can fall onto one side. And then slowly just push yourself up to a seated position, either on the ball or the floor or the chair. And then we'll all just take a couple of breaths together wherever you're at this morning. So your palms are away. We're gonna inhale up. And ah, as you exhale. Two more times, inhale. Ah. One more time, inhale. Ah. Thank you so much for joining me today, namaste. Have a fabulous rest of your Friday. See you guys tomorrow at 10.15 for just some regular looking yoga. Have a great day. Hope you're doing something fun. Let me know what you're doing. Um, I'd love to hear from you. So as always, post any pictures um, and let me know what you're doing. Have a great day. Thanks again. Bye.